And the mother of a sailor is speaking out as her son prepares to serve one year in prison for handling classified information. She says it's a double standard that her son is going to prison, yet Hillary Clinton is not facing any charges for her handling of classified emails. One America's Sani Unitoa has more on this case. We as Americans, as patriots of the United States of America, need to stand up against this double standard. Whether it's Hillary Clinton or other people in this administration, it needs to stop. The mother of 29-year-old former Navy machinist Christian Saucier is calling out a double standard when comparing her son's case to Hillary Clinton's private email investigation. In an interview with Fox News, she said her son is preparing to serve one year in prison for taking photos on a nuclear submarine. Meanwhile, the FBI has recommended no criminal charges against Clinton for her handling of classified information. My son is sentenced for mishandling classified information for six photos in a classified area of the submarine. What he did was wrong. He has accepted responsibility for what he's done, and he's going forward. Saucier's mother pointed to this moment in the vice presidential debate between Governor Mike Pence and Senator Tim Kaine. If your son or my people, son handled classified information the way Hillary children, Clinton did, they'd be Governor. court-martialed. She felt Pence was silenced, and she agreed that both of the VP candidate's sons would go to prison if they handled classified classified information the way Clinton did. Saucier pleaded guilty in federal court in May, admitting that while working on the USS Alexandria in 2009, he used his cell phone to take six pictures of the classified engine room of the nuclear submarine. The photos were discovered in 2012 after Saucier reportedly left his phone at a dump in Connecticut. The phone was eventually turned over to the FBI, which questioned Saucier, but they did not say whether he shared or was planning to share the photos. However, investigators say Saucier destroyed his personal laptop and camera when he returned home from the interview. His attorney argued that Saucier should only get probation, citing the FBI's decision to not recommend criminal charges against Clinton. However, a federal judge shot down that argument and sentenced Saucier to one year in prison, along with six months of home confinement. Sanyu Natoa, One America News.